Welcome to Palermo for tonight's live match between Inter Milan and Auxerre. It's a packed house here, 35,000 people in Sicily, and they've all turned out amid the Christmas festivities to see this man, the world's greatest player of this moment in time, Ronaldo of Inter Milan. The Serie A campaign, which closed for Christmas on the 19th of December, resumes this weekend with the biggest game of the season so far. Current leaders Inter Milan play second place Juventus. And so with this clearly in mind, coach Luigi Simone will use this match to reintroduce his squad to the rigours of competitive football and to run off some of that festive fare they've been enjoying for the past nine days or so. For the people of Palermo, it's a big night as well. They rarely, if ever, get to see top-class football here these days. The demise of the South could still be further heightened should Napoli, the nearest Serie A side to Sicily, fall into Serie B this year, leaving the nearest southern side in the top flight being Rome. So they've turned out then tonight, not surprisingly, in their thousands, filling this stadium to capacity. Now, the French side here this evening of uh, Auxerre, and France have supplied two teams this season, which have upset Inter Milan. Olympic Lyon became the first side to beat them in any competition when they beat them at their home leg of the UEFA Cup. They were then beaten by Strasbourg a few weeks later. And uh, the trophy there is being presented by the mayor of Palermo, Leo Luca Orlando, as a gesture of thanks from the people of Naples for bringing their side here and specifically him tonight to play in this game. Leo Luca Orlando, more famously known for uh, running the gauntlet against the Mafia in this particular part of the country. The world's greatest player just received the FIFA award, World Player of the Year. He's also had the World Soccer Player of the Year from the uh, World Soccer magazine, which he's won for two years in a row. This time, this year, by uh, an even wider margin than the first year he won it, polling over a quarter of all votes cast. And the golden boot, of course, was for finishing Europe's top scorer last season. We're looking here at a full strength into the land side tonight as well. Well, it's often the case, as I'm sure you can see, that uh, the cameramen are so entranced by the presence of this particular man that they're barely able to recognize anywhere else and everywhere the camera goes you can be sure that the famous number 10 shirt will follow the milan side tonight including paliuka in goal bergami playing sweeper three central defenders taribo west galanti and sartor in the middle aaron vinter Zielias. Moriero and Coe out wide on either flank. And uh, the front pairing, Ronaldo. And uh, we're looking around to see if we can see Jock AF. We can't see him at the moment. And for Ozer, they will line up Charbonnier in goal. Gamar, Danjou, Silvestri, Rabruivni in the middle of the field. The immensely talented Lamucci. Lashuer, wide on the left, Diomeda, Givash, the striker at number nine, Denio at 18. So we will uh, hopefully as well get a charge during this game, as I'm sure there'll be substitutions made to see uh, Steve Marley, a great uh, little winger, who was uh, fallen out of favour recently. Ozer currently lying just outside the top five in the French first division. It's not been a totally consistent season, but it's often difficult for this club, which are run, of course, by the legendary Giroud. They often, at the end of every season, have to sell their very best players, and this season was no different to any that's gone before. Out went uh, Lillian Laslon. 
And Musa Saib as well. And getting the game underway. Cheers and smiles all around. And this is how seriously they take football in these parts, turning out in such huge numbers to see this friendly game. Tariba West, of course, formerly of Jose. And the first stoppage and free kick of the night. Honed by the master coach Giru was uh, Tariba West. That will certainly be seen inside the uh, World Cup this year as well. Looking to get that ball up forward to Ronaldo on the edge of the penalty area, this time intercepted. Adam Vinter out wide by the touchline. That's uh, possession Ozer's way. And you would think that the noise that this crowd are making, that this will be this is a home game. Christian Henner, number six, getting into a bit of bother. As seven is Lamucci. That's a lovely ball through by Lamucci. And West using his huge physical presence to hold off Thomas Denio. So we're still picking up a few players here. The, uh, there were no confirmed lineups from the beginning. This will be taken by Lachur. And way over the top by Christian Henner. Of course, so far, the season has brought nothing but uh, success for Inter Milan. They're lying at, on top of Serie A. But they've failed to convince everybody of their quality. Some of the media. The A Zanetti, number four. Pass a little too short. The French certainly aren't taking uh, any prisoners out there and getting really stuck in here. Only two minutes gone, and it really does feel like it's a cup tie of sorts. This Koe making space wide on the flank. West is making his way up as well on the flank, looking at the overlap, but that's going to be a free kick, and that is. Uh, in the Ronaldo zone. Foul on Frazy, and uh, as you would expect over the ball, Ronaldo. Here he comes, round the wall and straight into the arms of Chabonnier. Clear the wall. Again, Milan getting stuck in in the middle of the field. Needs no introduction. This is Ronaldo one on one. Dances one way, then the next. Oh, what a start! What a start by the Brazilian, absolutely fabulous stuff. The crowd are going absolutely wild. It doesn't matter what side you support, when this guy is on the field, that's all you want to see him do. One against one, there's only one winner. And Ronaldo opens the scoring after literally three minutes. Frank Silvestri certainly is not an inexperienced defender, but he was made to look like a pure amateur. Step one way, then the other, you just don't know which way he's going. What a start. Gomar. And uh, you know, are they in the mood for a, a real celebration tonight? A 
Well, certainly on our team list, number 11 is uh, Kanu, and it certainly isn't him. It's uh, Benoit Koe, as you can see from there. There's a man again, Ronaldo in the middle of the field. This time the pass is a little too short. Get out by uh, Silvestri once more. They'll just want to try and, try and quieten things down just a little. Lamucci often plays a little further forward than that, but the, uh, certainly the director of operations in the middle of the field for uh, Ozer. And off of, off of uh, Rabarivani. Adam Vinter back to Paliuka. Took one step too far, almost lost possession of the ball right in front of Givash. Jokaev with the new slimline figure this season. He was criticised a bit last year for uh, he might be carrying a little excess weight. He's certainly carrying a little less air these days. Vinter going in, getting hard in there on top of the ball. Ronaldo makes a run through the middle. Adam Vinter again, this is uh, Ronaldo. Zanetti. And again, all the shape has disappeared from Ozer. They're just chasing shadows at the moment. Zanetti. Jokiev trying to peel out wide, Ronaldo's going to make a move out there now, here he is, 20 yards out, edge of the penalty area, Ronaldo, one in front of him again, he's round one, looks for the penalty, it's going to drop to, uh, well, Ronaldo, more importantly, is down, feeling his knee, it was Benoit Coe's shot, not the necessary power to uh, trouble Chabonnier, now this would be uh, a real shame if... He had to disappear off the field of play, and he just stubbed his boot there. He even confused himself as to which avenue he was going to take into the penalty area. Now... They certainly are going to be looking too disappointed if they see him off. Out comes the uh, Raljic spray on instant relief. And I hope that we can get him back into the game. Of course, there's no Maurizio Gantz these days to partner Ronaldo up front. Surprisingly, he moved off to Milan. Well, they're going to be taking absolutely no chances with this man any semblance of an injury they certainly don't want to lose him for the huge game on Sunday between Milan and Juventus at the San Zero he's back all is well eight minutes gone and here's the man whose goal separates the two sides It'll be interesting to see if he counted how many times we've used his name so far during the commentary as so often he's been involved in play 18 there Denio once again finding some space but he's not finding uh, an awful lot of room on the touchline Gomar seven is Lamucci six Henna Milan closing down well in the middle of the field and again the ball doesn't make it up to the edge of the penalty area helped on and away come Milan once again, this is Giuseppe Bergami into his 30s, he's still got such heart and appetite for the game, Bergami, a real lesson to some of the younger. Now, inside the penalty area, oh, what a wasted opportunity that.
But again, he's like a magnet, uh, Ronaldo, attracting everybody around him when he gets hold of the ball. He was looking a little gingerly there. Toward the knee. This is Gomar. Sloppy ball that by Gomar. Benoit Coe is back quickly. No problems for uh, Paliuka. As I was saying uh, earlier on, if not impressed everybody so far into Milan they may be top of the league but the press only appreciative of the efforts of Ronaldo but they say without him little else is working and uh, certainly a surprise for many oh that was a sloppy pass now through the middle or rabbit even and uh, Givash was in space there toward the edge of the penalty area and just getting a little too confident Now, Lamucci is a fairly accurate striker of the ball, but we're a bit too far away. The share. And that looks like it could possibly be Ronaldo's replacement, even this early on in the game. Streaking through the middle goes Ronaldo once again. This time, six is Djok AF. Tries to cut inside, but that was good covering defensive play. And certainly Henna has got a real job on there tonight. They're so fluid in their movement at the moment in Milan. Jockey F again, 25 yards out, will try one. And it's taken a deflection, I think, on the way past Chabonnier's goal. And Jockey F making space for himself, it did. It should be a corner. And uh, it's where he's most dangerous, Jockey F cutting inside to get onto the right foot. Taribo West making his presence felt in toward the near post. It's cleared everybody and it's going to be a free kick. Uh, Ronaldo's having fun. Kibru certainly as well will be using this game to get his side back into uh, a competitive frame of mind. But uh, I don't think perhaps the players imagined that it would be quite as competitive as the game that we're seeing. That's Benoit Coe, of course, came from France in the close season from PSG. Probably known to uh, many English followers of the game for uh, a fantastic game he played against Liverpool. And trying to lob the keeper. And uh, a brave attempt by Moriero. And Moriero just taking a bounce on the ball. Moriero, one of the uh, reasons why Maurizio Gantz, who we were talking about a couple of moments ago, left. He was actually attached still to Milan and down injured. Denio. The swap deal that took uh, Gantz across to uh, AC Milan meant that uh, they gave up all rights to Moriero, now fully-fledged into player. And uh, a good deal, I should imagine. That's Henna getting tied up. And the French are clearly rattled here at just how seriously this side is taking this game. Milan, West, gets the game back underway. 
six is Jock AF, looking for Aaron Vinter. Koe makes space in the middle if he can find him, but Vinter going too far toward the touchline, losing possession now. A wasted piece of possession, Jock AF, nice touch. This time, Zer packing the middle of their own half and picking up the loose ball. Lamucci. West, just uh, temporarily uh, out of position. Zialias. Again, lovely turn. Really in the mood for the game tonight is uh, Jorge F. This is uh, Ronaldo. Koe's flick and touched on, or Moriero's flick rather, touched to Chavonnier. Rabba Rivini. And uh, back across to cover is Colonese. Sartor, number two. And Ronaldo is off the field of play to be replaced by Ivan Zamorano. Well, what a contribution in 16 minutes. A uh, real shame he's departed the field of play but they are taking absolutely no chances, and rightly so. This is a friendly. The real business begins again on Saturday as the ball flights into the arms of Pagliuca. Now we've got another real maverick on the field here, Ivan Zamorano. He's had a really disappointing time of it this season. Scoring just one goal in Serie A. He's not an automatic choice, but he should certainly get more of a show with the departure of uh, Mauricio Gantz. Nice flick through by uh, Moriero, but that's uh, no free kicks as the referee. The famous bobble-hatted face of Giroud. So many of France's great players over the years have at some time of passing during their career passed through the watchful eye of a real master coach and tactician, Giroud. There's one of them, Talibo West. 11 is uh, Benoit Koe. Uh, first contribution to give away a free kick, Ivan Zamorano. Uh, it was when the game was first muted, many of the uh, South Americans were supposed not to be coming, but they were all dragged back from all corners of the globe to play in this game tonight. And the Serie A defeat of the season so far for Inter Milan came surprisingly at uh, Udinese. Losing 1-0 on the uh, final weekend of the season before the Christmas break. And that's what has had critics wondering about just how good this side really is. And we're going to get a reasonable attempt at fighting out uh, here tonight. That was Adam Vinter. It's going to drop straight to Zeli as the other South American tries to curl one in onto the head of uh, Zamorano. That was a trip on the edge of the penalty area. Maintained his feet really well, but it's scrambled clear by Gomar. And away come Jose, a chance for a quick break. Lecher, oh, he's too slow on the ball, though. And uh, the Italians wanting to put on a show. The French have been uh, well, happy to make up the numbers so far. This is uh, Lamucci. Two is Gomar. And does well, Gomar, to get inside one. He was never going to get past the second, though. Crazy.
slipping away from uh, Jodier, who really stretched for the ball over there. Zamorano finds Moriero. Again, this is good play by Sartor. Plenty of space in front of him. He can get the ball across. Touch back to Jokayev, and there's few that are better from those distances when the ball's dropping onto his right foot. Uh, the 29-year-old this time just sending the ball wide of uh, Chamonix's right-hand post. to the midway point inside the first half still the team separated by the wonder goal of uh, Ronaldo after just four minutes number four this is crazy to forward this time for Ozer it was Lachey and again a chance of that finding its intended target of Givash. That was a good challenge, though. Four blue shirts around, including that of Sartor. It's almost this uh, area of the country, as we were talking before, the game like another country, and it's such a shame that they don't get a chance to see more often than they do. First-class football. Swung into the penalty area, almost onto the head of Givash then. And those of you who are watching Eurogoals on a Monday evening will have seen him attack balls like that with a high degree of success on many occasions so far this season. Six is Henna. This is Gomar. Talibo West closing in on his marker once again. This is Denio. Just trying to settle into a pattern at the moment, Ozer, but they're being denied space in the opposition half, and there's not enough movement being made by either the midfield or the front uh, pair to warrant any success at the moment. Even time for a few of the party tricks. This is Moriero. Bumble to the floor, was he? No, the referee's his play on. And Moriero will get up and have another go. And this time it's uh, possession via a throw into Ozer. We talk about the uh, limited resources, but they did so well they, to win the League Cup double just a couple of years ago. Fantastic achievement for this side now. Through the middle comes Ben Waikoui, such a tricky play with the ball at his feet. A real handful, Jokayev trying to flick it through, finding Zamorano. Zamorano is in there, that's Taribo West, trying to get the ball across uh, into that danger area. Not quite making it this time, they'll have another go there, Zielias. That's not the best of clearances either. It is Lachey. Again, getting in all sorts of bother in the middle of the field. Lovely ball into the middle by uh, Jokayev. Oh, almost ran away through then, is Zamorano. And uh, a very good piece of defending that was indeed by Frank Silvestri. All the experience needed there to get his face in the way of the ball. Not a spare moment of dull play during this game at all. Zia Elias once again trying to get the ball across that six-yard area. This is West. West inside, not uh, fooling Gomar, though. Now there's some space. Gomar needs support, looking for Diomeda. This is Diomeda, will... And uh, a good covering challenge by Crazy. was lucky he didn't actually connect with his hands otherwise that had penalty written all over it getting the ball deep to the far post space there that time and uh, Givash 
we've seen little of uh, Antoine Zibierski so far during this game, and he's uh, rare talent in the uh, French league. Zibierski, there's confirmation of the score. 25 minutes gone. It's been all Milan though during this opening 25. 21 is Zamorano, Moriero. Quick feet that time by uh, Jogge have to get away from his marker, but the finishing uh, ball wasn't the required standard. Criticised for his uh, contribution to uh, games, but he started off this evening charging around all over the field. Colonese just happy to see the ball downfield for the moment. And returned by Danjou. Indeed, it is Alan Pinter. Dutch international. Spent some time with Paul Gascoigne, of course, over at Lazio. He's a quite accomplished performer, this player. And often goes unnoticed. He's not full of the skill of the likes of the Bear Cups and uh, the Kleibets. Well, in this case, the Ronaldo's. The job gaps, but his contribution is still noteworthy. And, uh, again, it looks as though we may have another substitution. So look with this eye on the game at the weekend. Coming up at half time, by the way, we'll be able to preview that game. We'll hear from. Uh, of uh, Didier Deschamps, uh, Zidane, uh, with Jock AF, and indeed Vinter is going off in, uh, in a preview as we look forward to that game. Coach Gigi Simone, former Napoli coach, and as we said, somewhat of a surprise, he's never won anything of major note, but what he has done is his cap sides the top fight, he's got no fewer than five different rules. He's been promoted five times with various clubs that he's been in charge of. So, knowing how to get the best out of your players is certainly one of his qualities. his name earlier on indeed we did but that was at the beginning of the game and we were uh, we were slightly lacking in a, in a confirmed lineup so our apologies for that but Zanetti is on the field of play now and that is all that matters and he's on for uh, Adam Vinta so no Ronaldo and no Adam Vinta if you just joining us into Milan lead here in Palermo tonight by one goal to nil the goal scored after four minutes and it's something that we will see again at half-time, a wonderful effort. But here there could be more danger for Jose. Seven is Moriero, looking to find space. Can he get the ball across now? He does really well, just couldn't get underneath the ball. Again, showing great pace, Moriero. And six is Henna. Gibash tried to make the run, but going with him was uh, Colonese. And consequently, they've got to come back and go across field to try and find a way through. Gomar. It is Lachey. Well, all rather embarrassing for Lachey. Look at that 
move just a couple of moments ago with uh, Moliero jumping the challenge. And I think he thought the ball had actually gone out of play. Not the best kick by uh, Luka Paliuka. Seven, Lamucci looking to find Goma in a bit of space here. Goma West is out of position slightly. Everybody in a blue and black striped shirt, very quick to close down the man on the ball. And uh, I don't know if they're on some sort of performance bonus here tonight, but I don't think I've quite seen such a competitive performance in a, in a friendly match before ever. Now, 18, Denio. Once again, they've got to go back. Fairly anonymous first half an hour from Ozer. If he's looking for pointers, uh, Giroud, as the French to get their season underway again. So he's found too many, apart from the fact they wouldn't live in the same ballpark as uh, a side like Victor Milan. And this is Gomar. Again, lazily slung a boot in the direction of the ball. And it finds West. Now West is off on one of those runs. The huge long strides of his getting down the flank as he kept the ball in play. No, he hasn't. More's the pity because the defense had opened up in front of him for the crowd, really appreciating again. The last time Palermo was in the uh, Serie A, which is the South Dakota in Division 3 was in the early 70s. So you can see why any top-class football action is soaked up here. Again, just casually given away once more. Milan will accept the challenge. And this is Djok AF. Joey coming for the ball, they file for Jog F. There's three here, there's a real chance for a goal here. Oh, just fallen a little too far forward of the right boot of uh, Yuri Jokayev. Again, Zamorano holding the play up, taking the defender's attention, and uh, Jokayev with the run through the middle. Four, this is Silvestri. Loche swapping flanks for a moment, trying to find the ball. That was a full bloody challenge by Polonese. It's just the spring in the step of this uh, into Zide. Maybe they realize they're halfway toward their first Serie A championship, maybe for since 1989, the last time they won. So it's been a particularly productive past few years. Again now making grand into the penalty area comes uh, number 18 who is Denio. And three blue shirts there. It's Ronaldo. Probably the best news for everybody else on the planet. Soccer is by the time the World Cup comes around. If there was any justice, then he would be really very tired. Frazee, lovely ball by Frazee, looking to try and get Moriero. Moriero's ran his man. Zamorano's in the penalty area. Couldn't get a ball across though. He's down, clutching, it looked like his chin. But again, such a busy little player, Moriero. Now, at the other end of the field, Girash is in space, but once again, the quality of the ball into the Sichuan area was poor. Rayons is the referee. The Elias, not seen too much from him so far this evening. Ten minutes to half time. The occurrence 
good effort. Looks to be a real two-horse race between Inter and uh, Juve. Juve yet to lose so far. Now, here he goes again. Moriero, Zamorano peels off into the centre. Jokaev there through the middle. If he can get the ball through to him, he does. Jokaev, Zamorano's free. Here he is, 2-0 shot. Oh, wonderful save by Chabonnier. And it's still not there. And Moriero diving in at the far post. Just couldn't attach a boot. And again, they just carved open the OZ defence. As if it were a practice game, Zamorano really should have made that 2-0. But that was a very good save by Lionel Chabonnier. And the follow-up shot by Benoit Coe, and that was Moriero right on the post. Just at the death, couldn't get his foot to the ball. The top mark's going to uh, keep a Chabonnier. Certainly, if uh, Coach Jacquet is watching this performance or watching throughout the season, he's playing very well indeed. And uh, the first choice, Lamar, has only just gone to West Ham United and has not played a full season now. The other end of the field of play, Givash is making his way into the penalty area now. The seven there was Lamucci. And that's the best that uh, Givash can manage. Always looking tremendously unruffled, Gigi Simone. <laughs> surprised many this season, Gibash, with his uh, goal exploits. He's had to because he's had to replace uh, Lillian Laslant. He's the target man in this French side. Thought was there, but it was telegraphed that pass. 15 Zanetti. And again, good first touch and control by Jokaev. If they've uh, overindulged on the Christmas fair, certainly doesn't look like it in this first 37 minutes performance here tonight. Jokaev turning one way and the other, trying to outfox Goma. And uh, succeeds. And winning a throw which Moriero will take. Well, Gaff goes short. It's taken two players to hustle the ball away. Lamucci on the chase is Koe. Lamucci tries to uh, take the return with a back flick and. Uh, just a little too intricate in the middle of the field, and it's a throw to Ozair. <laughs> well intercepted by uh, Zamorano. is Z Elias. This is West. Close down and has to go back to uh, Frazy. Five Colonese. Fifteen is the substitute for uh, Vinter Zanetti. Which just quiet things down a little. Uh, not surprisingly so. Moriero. Colonese's ball forward. Zamorano on the turn. It looks to the referee. Wins the free kick. Brought to Inter Milan by uh, Roy Hodgson last season. During his one season in charge. Took them to the UEFA Cup final, of course, when they lost against Schalke. Who, incidentally, they play in the next round, believe it or not, in the quarterfinals of the UEFA Cup. Now, defending to be done here, Koe looking to find space and room. West is even buzzing around in there, looking to try and get in on some of the goal action. Sums up the half ready for uh, Jose. Moriero, Sartor, Moriero just. And the 
Rodgers still by the hand. Is taking out a yes, yes, taking out a yellow card. I thought even either first one into the book tonight. Handball rather than anything more sinister. Jokayev's kick looking for Frazy. Frazy. Jokayev. Frazy's continued his run. He's in space. Can he get it back inside? Zamarad has got close. Oh, what a goal! What a fabulous strike for number two for Milan. Oh, Frazy won't score many better than that during his career. Well, the firecracker's gone. Just look at that control once with the left foot bang in with the... Uh, or controlled with the right and banged in with the left. It was a wonderful strike. That's uh, the vision provided by Jokayev to see the run of Frazy and Chabonnier. That was, uh, well, unstoppable. Zamorano had almost made him take the chance because he'd come to the near side of the six-yard area and made it almost impossible to find a pass. 2-0. Two fabulous goals in what so far has been a very, very good game indeed. And they want to turn it on now. Colonese. Zanetti. Zanetti again, round one. Z uh, Zamorano's there on the back post of Jokiev, and uh, he's done that so many times. Bring the ball down well, but this time it just came off the shin. And the Frenchman will be responsible, of course, for running for success with the national side in the World Cup next year. Simply one deficiency in the French side, the lack of a real proven goal scorer. And it's shown here tonight as well. Lamucci's ball through the middle. It's going nowhere apart from Dwar Pagliuca. And uh, the 37 and a half thousand people inside this stadium are loving every minute of this. As the wave goes around the ground, they've actually sold 28,000 tickets for this game before kickoff tonight. And uh, there was walk up to the gate as well. Now, this is Ben Wakoe. Look at a handball. And it's a penalty. And we'll need to get a better look at that. And uh, let's just check it up here. Well, it was absolutely blatant by uh, Christian Henner. And well spotted by the referee. And uh, I doubt there was any other intention, but just to stop uh, Koei. Getting in a strike on goal. But look at that for first touch. It's just a delight to watch. Now, Jorgiev doesn't miss penalties. Against fellow Godriam and Chabonnier. This for 3 0. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, he's going to roll it in, is he? No. And that's what you get for being cocky. Pat Chabonnier on the head. One minute before half-time. Well, he's not smiling. He's been in fabulous form in this half as uh, Chabonnier, but just look at that. It is only a friendly, but the cheek of it. And he was sussed out there by Chabonnier. Showing some great uh, agility in his upper body because he was actually sat on the floor. Great stuff. This is probably more entertaining than any Serie A game you'll, uh, you've probably seen in between August and Christmas so far, if you're a watcher. Maybe a little less technical. And for the first time, sidestepping uh, Taribo West was uh, 
Thomas Denio. Oh, West recovering. And uh, Koe. 15 is Zanetti. Sartor. Moliero begins the run. And just a little too far in front. To injury time, which there'll be a couple of minutes at the end of the first half. If you just taste the atmosphere inside the stadium tonight, and that is the half time whistle, the end of a thoroughly entertaining first half, which was begun with the brilliance of Ronaldo. He only lasted 15 minutes, but during that time, for those of you who haven't seen it for a while, a great taste, and it was finished by Frazee with a very warm welcome back to Palermo. The sides just making their way out after the half-time break into Milan. Lead by two goals to nil. And two very good goals they were indeed. Ronaldo opening the scoreline. The scores rather after four minutes. And that was followed just a couple of minutes before half-time by a thunderous strike by uh, Frazee. Uh, we expect that there will be uh, a few substitutions during this second half. As both sides look toward the resumption of their respective league campaigns. Milan then topping Serie A. 30 points after 13 games, losing just once against Udinese. And uh, Sunday is the big game in Italy against Juventus, playing second on 29. Who failed... Oh, sorry, who haven't been defeated so far this season. And certainly, it's been a successful season so far for the coach, Simone. After the disappointments of last season and losing in the final of the UEFA Cup, certainly this looks like the best chance that they've had in this decade to end the nine years of wait since 1989 and lift the Scudetto. And get the place back in the uh, UEFA Champions League for next season. And don't forget they're still going in Europe as well. As are Roser, who face Lazio in the quarterfinals. And you will, of course, be able to follow the fortunes of all both of these sides in the coming months on Eurosport on the respective European nights. And uh, we have learned that there is one substitute on at the moment. Marco Branca. There's another one, Diego Simeo. So then, Milan get this second half underway, and if it's anything near as entertaining as the first one, then the 45 minutes will fly by. And there's another one, Nicola Berti. So we're picking these up as we go along. And uh, there's another one, 20 is Rekuba. So all change for uh, Inter. Well, he looked to get a, either a high stub then from Christian Henner. And Paliuka off for a rest. Mazzantini brought in new at the beginning of the season. We get a taste of some of the action. Now, Resuba. And 30 yards or so out. Chabonnier has been in fine form, though. 
the way things have been going this evening, it's been a spectacular this has been making. Here he comes, Reservoir with it, kills it around the wall, Chabani is there. Gets down well, it took an awkward bounce, that just in front of his face. Always difficult to deal with. Arrived from uh, Nacional Montevideo in Uruguay, that's about in the summer. And again, he's been more of a squad player so far, but an impressive one when he's come on. 13 is Jare, uh, cuts inside one, and that uh, was Colonese. And uh, they're all going down at the moment, and uh, perhaps it's uh, a little too eager in this second half, but uh, Givash is uh, taking a bang on his uh, calf, it looks like. And certainly it will almost... Definite that he will leave the field of play. It's another look at that free kick. Look at the pass right in front, and uh, Charbonnier did well. And uh, Lionel Charbonnier, a great chance of uh, making it into the French side for the World Cup. There is Marco Branca. Currently, uh, Lamar, of course, is uh, out of sorts and playing anywhere he can get a game. Matt currently is in England as. Uh, Hired help due to the absence of Ludek McClosko. But otherwise, the French keeping post is held by Raveau of uh, PSG, who's had an absolutely dire time in the Champions League in some games, especially against Bayern Munich. He gifted chances away now, getting stuck in. Number 27, Branca. That's Zamorano. Being chased by Rezabat. This is Goma. They're just happy to keep possession of the ball at the moment, Ozer, because when they've given it away, the wave after wave of uh, attackers hit them, and they've looked a very poor side. Seven is Lamucci. They're trying to get players forward, but they just can't find the space because uh, Milan are really covering every blade of grass here. But there's not a lot of invention in the off ball running of uh, Azer up front. Sibirski has been a virtual spectator for the whole game. 13 there, another new face for the second half, Fabio Galanti. And uh, forward comes Henna. Everybody back, though, for uh, Milan. Sweeping it across field, looking for Rabarivini. It finds 13, Jare. Rabarivini goes on the overlap. Again, plenty way away from the goal. 15 is Zanetti. Fourteen, Diego Simeone. Bresaba comes short, that's Jare. And a uh, little of the sting has gone out of this game that there was in the first half. 2-0 into Milan lead, of course. If you've just joined us, Ronaldo and Frazy, the scorers. That's a chance for Branca to turn his man then from the chest down from Zamorano, but it was intercepted by Lamucci. Lamucci going through the middle, a wall of blue and black shirts, and uh, build up ahead of steam, but ran into a brick wall. And that's no problem for uh, Goma. Oh, Chabonnier doesn't want to play games in front of Zamorano. And Zamorano's still there, Chabonnier, is he going to get away with it? He is. And uh, Gomar can avert the danger still further. I don't think an Ozer player has hardly broken sweat so far in this game. Silvestri forward. And intercepted by Denio. And a chance maybe for Givash on this corner. It's Taribo West. Uh, 
Aerial power is something that they do have in plentiful supply, Ozer. That's delivered near post, but it's cleared easily by West. Back out by uh, Lamucci. But again, good defensive work, not allowing uh, the man on the ball time or space to think about where he was going to place the cross. And consequently, the move breaks down and Inter come away with possession. Simeon, another of the uh, summer arrivals from Atletico Madrid. And again, that's a nice turn by 27, Marco Branca. And uh, far on the right. Well, offside, the flag has gone up. It was a tempting run. So it looked at uh, Zanetti. Uh, seeing a little more of the possession now. Come on, again, a terrible ball by uh, Gomar. And he does well to retrieve the situation, though. And in a real head to head scrap with Toribo West. West comes away with the ball. And very nearly, very nearly indeed. Cut out well by Silvestri. Six, Christian Henna. Seven, Lamucci. Now, Jolly is why That was going to be a free kick for a high boot there. And the referee just uh, having a word with Galanti. Seemed to calm down a little. Seen uh, in the wall, Nicola Berti. Uh, this is certainly within striking range, and indeed it will be struck. It took a deflection and uh, down very well was the keeper. Uh, Mazzantini has not been on the field of play long and uh, has done something Pagliuca didn't, which was save a shot in anger. Now. It's the turn of Ozer to exert some pressure. That's a good delivery. The keeper's fallen. And he fell forward onto the ball and it came out of his hands and it almost dropped to the feet of uh, Sibierski. And now there's a little more invention in the play of uh, Ozer. And Vache gives the ball away. Simeone. 15 here. Is Zanetti, Zamorano is in the centre, if he can get the ball across, good play by uh, Zanetti, he's being held. And just couldn't pull it back in time. Marco Branca also on the back post was on Martin, <laughs> uh, just a little over eager to get the ball back in possession. And Javier Zanetti, unlucky, but again, good work. Uh, by Goma, but it was finally the clearings by Silvestri, who's been on hand. The last gas attempts on a couple of occasions during this game. And it's a little slower, but that's because Milan are now relying on the counter attack rather than going forward searching. And uh, Six of one, really, that. And Milan allowing Azair a little more of the ball and a little more territory in which to play in. Not too much, mind you, but a little. <laughs> 27. Marco Branca. And again, Silvestri sticking to his man like glue. And doing a good job, Silvestri. As there was plenty of support there in the penalty area. Uh, 
as the wave begins to reverberate once again around the stadium. At swinging corner, 3-0, West the scorer. Very poor defending from the corner by Ozaire. Two men face front to goal with nobody in between them. Lovely glancing header. And it was a nice piece of control that by West. It was a difficult ball to control. Zanetti getting the glancing header across. But that was difficult to control. It was high, almost a waist height. And really, with Lamucci on the line, they should have saved it. Goal number three for Inter Milan. Tuning up quite nicely for the visit of Juventus to the San Siro Stadium on Sunday. And uh, Silvestri taking it all on his own. This is Jare. Kivash is there. There's a chance for one back. There was a player unmarked and it was Diomeda wide there. West was slightly out of position. Now they can break though. And this is Zanetti again. And they've closed down and slowed down. This is Zanetti once more through the middle. Another nice ball right to the feet. And this is Zamorano just over the bar and it should have been number four. But another fantastic run, this time Reservoir. Just don't have the pace to contend in the first half with uh, Moriero and Sato, and in the second half, Reservoir. And the pass from Zanetti was a very good one as well. Ball to feet. And playing with... Uh, teammates that have the ability as some of these do it must be a pure joy and I wonder Ronaldo's enjoying himself top scorer incidentally so far this season Ronaldo 14 goals nine in the league three in the Copa Italia and two in the UEFA Cup and three is Ravarivini that was good play by Ravarivini and again it bypasses all Mazzantini collects a knock. <laughs> Resabal was up there well. Claiming handball. Referee waves it away. Jarez, there goes the wave once again. Well, you could imagine really what it would be like if they had a home side of their own that was doing well. The Italian national side has uh, also been here on several occasions, and you can see why such an intimidating atmosphere and one of the very few stadiums where the crowd are this close to the pitch without a huge running track in the middle. A vociferous crowd and really do get behind the side and certainly Zamorano wasn't uh, impressed with the quality that time of what was before and this is Nicola Berti and Zamorano was there but he couldn't get near the ball His positioning, you could say, is part of his downfall, really. He's not reading... I know it's only a friendly game, but it's been a criticism labelled at him quite often that he doesn't get his share of goals, and he would point to the fact he's not in the side often and long enough, but when he gets on there, his reading of the game isn't the greatest sometimes. And that's uh, Christian Henner. 
for his Silvestri. And this is Gomar. And Diomeda trying to force his way past uh, West. And he's just getting absolutely no change out of him. And they're so quick when they made these counter attacks, but that was a good challenge then by uh, Henna. One of the few that's had a good game tonight for Rosaire. And that should be no problem for Frazee. And proves not to be. And clearance wasn't the best. Straight to the chest of uh, Rabarivani. Here he is again, Rabarivani. But there's nobody up in front of him, so a hopeful ball cross field. Spent so much time in the air, the invitation went out to West to get back and defend. Givash is there. So to Jare. And they just calm it down and away they come. And again, the chase is on. Zamorano is in on the six yard area. Marco Branca. Oh, Branca's turning left and right. He should have got rid of the ball by now. The pass was delayed in coming. And it's all uh, fallen apart, really, on this particular move, unless he can get this cross in now. And there was always going to be a penalty there. As Rezabar was struggling to find his way through. And Ozer struggling with Rabarivani to defend it. And almost gave a penalty away. Zanetti chasing back. 27 minutes remaining. Now this is Lamucci. Nice ball by Lamucci. Nice and simple. Found the intended target. Jare. Oh, Jare. Straight over the boot. <laughs> Zanetti. Diego Simeone. A real war horse in the middle of the field, uh, Diego Simeone. It's uh, great to see a couple of seasons he had with uh, Atletico Madrid. Uh, this is Lachey. Nice ball in. Two near Mazzantini. again this is Gomar Lamucci again taking their time nobody's making anything much like a, a creative run off the ball so there's no options and they've won a free kick though and this might give uh, Lamucci a chance to have a strike on goal here Just having a word, just to quiet a few tempers down. We've not made many changes in this uh, game so far. Yeah, it's not going to be Lamucci. As always, it takes at least three or four attempts to get these uh, walls back. If you ever watch Serie A, it's always the case now. Through the middle and... Um, wasted. Yivash. I was going to say, they really do know how to try the referee's patience with... Uh, the wall being back. Fabrice Le Paul. About to make his way into the play. With 24 minutes to go, 3-0 Milan lead. Zamorano. Branca. And continue to run, looking for Zamorano. He can touch the ball wide, and he couldn't get it. 
just couldn't attach his foot to the ball in time. There was plenty of players in space. The Mundi seems to hinder the progress of the, the attacking move rather than anything else. 27 is Branca. Now, uh, break on here for Jose. Offering the hand of friendship from Nicola Berti. And on comes uh, Fabrice Lepaul then. Take up a midfield position. And, uh, well... Agbo, so once again, we uh, apologies for that. The uh, squad numbers that we have appear to be all wrong. And Milan just taking their foot off the gas momentarily. And the tempo of the game has uh, somewhat dropped. Uh, Christian Henner only certainly battled his way through the middle of the field, but he wasn't getting an awful lot of assistance from anybody else this evening, so a well-deserved early bar for him. Forres Frazy, scorer of that stunning goal just moments before half-time. Zanetti and in front of him once again Diego Simeone nothing spectacular from Simeone but always to uh, the intended target of course as soon as you say that the move breaks down as uh, Simeone decides to uh, aim a petulant little kick at the ankles Jare Agbo to set Jare again it shows how much they view him as a danger, Jare. There was plenty of field in front of him with nobody much there. Jare again. He was a rabbit even he. And again, good, solid tackling. Taking all of the ball and nothing else. Didn't want to get in the way of one of Simeone's challenges. A real hard case he is. And tracking back, doing some good defensive work. Covering there is uh, Zamorano. Uh, but now, consequently, that leaves nobody upfield apart from Marco Branca. So they'll have to slow it down a little. And they'll find a way through. This is a great piece of play once again from Milan. 27, Marco Branca. And it just fails in the centre circle. Oh, well, a really rather inopportune moment to pan away from the goal. As uh, as Antini, certainly uh, a pretty well-built keeper, this. Six foot four inches tall. As Zamorano and Branca are there, if they can get the ball across goal. And just too high for... Uh, Zamorano. So Branca, along with uh, Zamorano, between them have just scored two goals this season. In all competitions that includes the UEFA Cup, the Coppa Italia and the Serie A. Rabat Ivani. Givash. Agbo. And again, little interest shown by the forwards of uh, Ozer. Gives us a chance for Retabar. Cuts in field this time. And he's taking whatever marker chooses to follow him on a real run around the place 
began on the uh, right side and he's flitted into midfield and across to the left and you can see him just at the camera shot there just running all over the place trotting away with uh, attention of whichever white shirt seems to be in the vicinity west losing at that time uh, this is uh, Lachey. Jare's ball but again that will find nobody but uh, Galanti who has conspires to give the ball away Giru, he's uh, as we said, he's not made very many changes in this game tonight. So, obviously, well, there must be a plan at work in the master tactician's mind. And just a reminder: after this game, incidentally, this evening, a very good program that is worth staying to watch: World Cup Legends, which uh, takes in the great Dutch side of the 70s of Europe. Got memories of Johan Cruyff and Naskins and the like, then uh, a great program that and very well worth watching. Or even sticking the video on to do as well. Here, though, we've got unfinished business. 3 0 is the score. Inter would gladly accept a couple more goals. And is Mazzantini off his line? No, he's not. Very few arrivals for uh, Jose this season, and as we said, they've had to cope with uh, the loss of some of their better players, the likes of Saib. Las Lons, and of course, just a couple of years ago, they've lost the likes of Laurent Blanc as well. I'm surprised so far that we've not actually seen uh, Steve Marley on the field. I don't know whether he's still actually recovering from injury or not, but he's certainly a player that could give them plenty of options down the flanks. He's very, very quick. Again, space in the middle of the field. Givash. Jare. And time there. And... Uh, side decision and it's not without other reasons that uh, teams like Inter Milan are visiting uh, areas like this it's such a huge area almost like a country itself of course and there's there or there are huge marketing opportunities down here especially in the merchandising of kit and so on so there is method in the reason they're playing here as well endearing themselves to the locals Required distance there, and he could put them in a little bit of trouble yet. Girash, and that's taken a deflection, but it was a deflection off of a white shirt, so it will be a goal kick. Certainly, uh, Lazio will be watching this game this evening to see if they can pick up any pointers. They play, of course, in the UEFA Cup quarterfinals in a few months' time. And another injury, which will mean immediate replacement, I'm sure. 
another look at this. Crushed in the back there, Nicola Bauti. Smile on the face of Simone. Possibly one of the most unruffled looking managers in Serie A, but then he's been there and seen it all before. That was a good interception by Teddy West. I don't know whether he knew there was uh, the Omeda on his shoulder. Uh, Agbo with the throw. Here's Rabot Rivenius. Hustled and chased this evening. To little avail. 13 minutes remain. And Milan now are just happy to accept the 3 0 victory and allow Ozer to form a foray into their own heart. Oh dear. To see if they can actually hit them on the break. And that wasn't. Uh, course intended uh, he's had a good game tonight one uh, wonderful stop in the first half and it seemed almost easier for Zamorano to uh, score <laughs> touched on by Rabba Rivini there is again Givash coming in field. Seven is Lamucci drifted out of the game somewhat in his second half. Shea almost a very good ball. The idea was right. It's dropped to uh, Lamucci. He can shoot from here if he gets a chance. And he just doesn't get the chance. I can clear Resaba. The best ball and lands straight to the feet of Leche. Go, go. Again, a little too crowded in the middle of the field, but they found uh, a way of somehow maintaining the possession of the ball. This is uh, Rabba Rivini. Three across to cover. Jare, who's been hanging out right on the touchline and being. Given the ball on very few occasions. Now here's the chance for the break. Just isn't going to find the intended target. And back to Mazzantini, who's uh, impressed in his short spell in as well. Had a couple of saves to make. That's Diego Simeone. Casting envious eyes, maybe, back across uh, the Mediterranean as his side. Result side, of course, Atletico Madrid doing well. Certainly, if you've been watching Europe sports coverage of the, uh, the Cups, you'll know that uh, they've certainly entertained along the way. And uh, if they still, Milan may find another way through here. Now, Zamorano, that was out of play. that he would be departing the club after the arrival of Ronaldo. It seemed to be a surplus of strikers, but uh, that's all changed since Maurizio Gantz's move across to Milan. So, after... After running himself ragged for 80 minutes, Rade is on. And Rabarivini has done his night's work. Thirteen is Jare. Now one on one. Chance for a shot at Mazzantini, but he's not even made to work.
Denio. He's called the scourge of a few defenses in the uh, French League this year. But he's not uh, having the best of it tonight. This really has been ideal preparation for uh, Simone in getting this team up and running for the weekend. Every single one of them has played their part in this game tonight. Resabar, we're going to find Zamorano. Once again, failing to find him. As I was saying, ideal preparation. And they've all taken this game as seriously as you could expect. And there are places to be played for and when you've got a squad as big as this, with as much experience and class, and you're not guaranteed a game every week. You take these opportunities as serious as you would a league or a cup game. And that's clearly been evident this evening from Inter Milan anyway. Uh, made his space well. And just couldn't get any purchase on the header. Sandwiched by Frazi and Galanti. Zamorano, Zamorano was taken away there, his, his uh, boot, but the referees to play on, and Zamorano's uh, having a little bit of afters. And uh, he's certainly not known as being anything but full-blooded, possibly a little hot-headed, and uh, that's all a bit of a shame, actually, because it was not the fault of Frank Silvestri at all. He's been looking for an argument for a while, Zamorano. And as is often the case when the going gets uh, a little tough and he's not getting uh, things his own way, that's how he reacts. And, uh, oh, well, we don't know what we've got on the, going on in here. It must be a relative. He's quickly... Uh... Well, I was going to say he was quickly escorted to the uh, bench, but he didn't appear to be too concerned about the fact he's got on there. And it was all a bit of a shame, that, because the game has been played in a... fairly good spirit, as befits the time of year. Lenji for West. And uh, another fine performance by Terribo West. A very good buy indeed he was. I was surprised that uh, more clubs weren't interested in his signature at the end of last season. And he hardly looks as though he's drawing breath. He's put in a really big performance here tonight. Here with a great goal. Cross in that time by Arade. And as we said, it's so long since they've seen any great sporting heroes. There's a real opportunity there. And Mazzantini wasn't even made to work. A really disappointing finish that was. That was a great ball in then as well by uh, Lamucci. If you saw the way he got in front of his boot underneath the ball, it just hooked it up and over. Inch perfect ball, and it should have been dispatched. Uh, chasing back Galanti to uh, do some covering defensive work. So uh, the three goal scorers, two are now off the field of play. And the clients turned out tonight to see Ronaldo. 
And he lasted 15 minutes, and during that time he gave them a goal. But Inter have served up some rich entertainment, especially in the first 45 minutes. It's been a little slower going in the second half, but they've still been in total control of the proceedings here. And on this form, it should be some game on Sunday at the San Siro. Fourteen, Diego Simeone. <coughs> and back defending, Galante once more. Diego Simeone. And Milan just playing out these uh, final couple of minutes. They might have another pop. The rest of there is uh, also on the other side flank. This is uh, Marco Branca. Did well to get across in. Once again, Zamorano was rather stagnant in the middle. Simeone. 20 is uh, Resaba. He looked such an exciting uh, introduction at the beginning of the second half that he's drifted very much in field in this second half and has been not quite as effective four is Silvestri and this is Lamucci is there to be a moment of glory for the French side certainly the defense has worked hard this evening of that there is no question the midfield has been a little slow now. For Lenji. Five there was uh, Colonese. The goal scorer, Frazi, making one more. Attempt to get forward, possibly looking for a second goal. This is Marco Branca. Oh, good play, Branca. As if far post and hanging in the air was Zamorano. And that should be no trouble, and indeed isn't for uh, Mazzantini, the half-time replacement for Gianluca Paliuca. There hardly really seems a lot of point, does there, at uh, 89 minutes and 40 seconds in a friendly game to bring on a substitute. But uh, as we said, competition is so rife, you only get a split second to impress. And maybe this is a substitute's chance. Injury time we are into at the end of the second half. And given away, are we going to get one more exciting piece of play? No, we're not, because he was offside. There was uh, Reseba, or Zamorano, rather. And that wagging feature, another feature, uh, wagging finger, rather, another feature of his game, often seen. The final whistle goes then in Palermo and the sides exit the field. They're greeted by the warm applause of a very appreciative audience who've seen an extremely entertaining game. And uh, Simeone interviewed before he goes off the field and you didn't quite see it actually at half time. But uh, Ronaldo was literally mobbed by anything with the tape recorder as he made his way to the tunnel. So, successful night. Into the lead by a win by three goals to nil, rather. We've seen it all tonight, really. Ronaldo for 15 minutes with a wonderful goal, followed by Frazi's volley just before half time. And also Taribo West with a third goal. That just inside the second half. 
And here we go. Goal of the day, perhaps. It just gets better every time you watch it. Such a big start. And destined only to become bigger. And uh, this here, this incident was the uh, point where he actually injured himself. Uh, we don't know the seriousness of the injury, but he seemed to just stub his toe, or stub his boot. Uh, and completely miss his kick. And uh, off the field he went to be replaced by Ivan Zamorano. And uh, waving to the crowd, a real superstar. Now, this was another tremendous goal. Right foot, left foot, and bang, right into the top corner. Frazee doesn't score many. And when he does, he's going to find when he looks back on his career, they probably won't come much better than that. This was the GRKF bit of cheek, which uh, he paid fully for. Oh, but it was a friendly after all. Who's looking embarrassed now, then? And it certainly wasn't Charbonnier. Great piece of uh, upper body agility at the time as he was sat on the floor. And lastly, Taribo West with a fabulous finish. That's all we've got time for from Palermo. Stay tuned, though, because after Sports Centre, a great programme. World Cup legends, the Dutch team of the 70s. From me, Tim Cable, a very good night to you all.